This is a step-by-step -step guide to using the websites Plane Radar and ADSB Exchange to monitor military aircraft landing at Irish airports. Neither planeradar.ru or ADSB Exchange require a login. So when you type planeradar.ru into your search bar, it'll bring you to this page. The website is Russian, so you change the language and you then click on reports, free form report. That takes me about 10 seconds to load. So you're clicking on that because you want longitude, latitude of planes, their ICAO code. That's really all you need. So, but there's a few other things that are useful too. So once you click on free form report, you're brought to this page and you click on list and unlock multiple aircraft reports. And what I do is I remove a lot of the information that could otherwise be yielded from a report. And I add in first latitude and first longitude, last latitude, last longitude. So that's the information I'm going to need. I scroll back up to criteria and the criteria are that the aircraft are military. That will generate this URL, which can be used to run a report. Now, because I've edited the list criteria, I'm going to be given longitude and latitude and so on. So that takes a few seconds to load. While that's loading, I'm going to turn the mic off and come back. Okay, so this is what the output will look like. ICAO, model, modus, country, from latitude, from longitude, to latitude, and to longitude. And these are the different airplanes that there are. Military aircraft. Now, what you're going to want to do here is, because these are just for last Saturday, I'm going to want to click all rows. It might take a little longer, so when this is finished, I'll come back.
Okay, so now there's quite considerably more airplanes, and this is this is what you want. So this is step by step. It's I'm just going to use Notepad in Excel. So click and copy. Notepad, Control V. This is really how you do this. It worked. You follow the steps. Copy, and I'm going to go to Excel. Click on Word there. Okay, Control V. Right. So. This is the data that I use. Now I also need to know what day the plane landed and I need to remove these degree symbols. So again, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to click Control F and replace that little degree symbol with nothing. 2,375. Fine. So I'm going to create a column called the day, DIY, and from here copy, paste it twice, and I'm going to do this for each day. So Saturday, the following day is Sunday. It won't be that many for the first day ago, but you can see now it's quite a lot for each day of last week. Monday, so on. I'm going to turn the audio off and complete this procedure. And when I've finished, I'm going to save the file and I'm going to show what you do in the next video. You'll want to have downloaded Tableau software as well. You need Tableau to uh, generate a map. So, okay. Okay, that's what your file should look like. I see a O D. The order of the columns doesn't matter. I've removed the degree symbol, and I have the correct day as well. And how many columns are there? Seven thousand and fifty. Seven thousand and fifty flights, including Irish ones, and um, for the past week. Okay, I'm going to complete the video.